Jellyfish was founded about five years ago. Um, and the overall goal we have is to help engineering teams answer the question, uh, where are we spending our time? And, you know, like we want to do that without interrupting engineers or anything like that. So we take all of your uh, Jira data and your Git data and other things and pull that in and try and estimate, hey, are you spending a lot of time on bugs or a roadmap, things like that. And from that, we can help you answer questions like, is the, how much time are we spending on, you know, resolving unplanned bugs? And is that number going up over time? Because that's a really important thing. And, you know, from that, there's an enormous amount of information, you know, we can drive and help engineering teams really work on the right things. Because even if you're being productive and you're working on the wrong thing, that's still not great. I'm uh, an engineer, software engineer here at Jellyfish. Um, I have a bit of an interesting background. I've worked at, you know, big companies, Netflix and Slack, and I've worked at a lot of little startups as well. So um, I tend to be a little more spread out than most people. Uh, you're working primarily on the UI, uh, but also helping out a lot with, you know, backend stuff and particularly like uh, SRE DevOps things like CICD and, and observability. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little all over the place. We are, the, the engineering team is uh, just under 50 right now, um, though that doesn't include the, the research team and they, they're pretty tightly coupled with us as well as some of the success engineering as well. It's really nice to kind of have the strong coupling between, with, with, between other parts of the organization and we're not existing in a silo. Um, how we're organized is with we, what we call mission focused teams. So we have a big chunk of work and the team is given the mission of doing that in an excellent manner, which is uh, so much better than like, it's not just like, here's a bunch of tickets, go. It's like, no, your job is to make this the best it possibly can. So it means that I mean, teams not just need to understand, hey, the, the, the code base, but also like why do customers use this feature? And it allows, I think, engineers to be much more free in their work. Um, something we talk about a lot is like, are you working on the next thing or the right thing? Uh, and, and not getting into that mindset where you just like ticket, 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 but like, no, what really is the bigger picture here? Uh, and I really like that. There is uh, lots of really interesting work. That's one of the reasons I like it here. And I think that one of the, the big projects we just launched is the benchmarking tool. Uh, which allows uh, our customers to say like, okay, we're spending 38% of our time on bugs. What does that mean? You know, like uh, the, it takes us, you know, 7.2 days to complete an issue. Is that, is that good? Is that bad? And, and being able to take data from the overall market and more specifically, hey, companies like you and being able to compare and say, hey, you know, it, it takes you seven days to fix an issue, but that puts you in the 70th percentile. So you're doing a better than average is really helpful for leaders to kind of contextualize the, the metrics that we generate. Uh, so that was a really cool project putting together, because it was putting together all the data from all of these different companies and then building out, you know, tooling on the front end to say, hey, let's make it useful to pull that data in and say, hey, I'm looking at a metric. What, is, what does that actually mean? Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we prioritize is, is using tooling that has like an established foundation of, you know, other companies that either really prove the utility of. Uh, and so, you know, like I can say a rattle off, like, okay, we're a Python backend, we use Django and Postgres, uh, you Docker and deploy to AWS and the front end is React, TypeScript, Ant-D. Uh, and so that's the, the sort of, you know, buzzards of all of our stack. And I think the, focus for us is uh, much more on how do we use those tools to provide value and understand, you know, why our customers use our product. I think that there is, any interview is going to be a two-way street. You know, we're going to interview you and ask you a bunch of questions, but you're also inter hopefully interviewing in a lot of different places. You've got options and we know that. And so we want to allow you to have uh, the time to come in and ask us questions. So yeah, come in, ask the hard questions. You know, if you, you don't just love us softballs uh, and every interview will, will have time to have that kind of reverse interview, ask us questions sort of thing. Uh, Cause we want to make sure that you are happy with where you land here as much as we're happy with, with you.
Uh, the other thing is our interview process, we don't do any of the, the hacker rank things or the, the solve the N plus two queens thing. It's, it's about, hey, these are things you would work on in the day-to-day. -day. Like, hey, here's a problem. Let's, you know, write some code to solve it. Um, and, you know, or, hey, let's talk about big projects you've worked on, things like that. So it's much more practical, much more like, hey, this interview, we, it's, it's not possible to have an interview be one-to-one -one with your, your daily work here, but we try our best to get pretty close uh, so that we get a good signal on, on that rather than a, did you memorize your algorithms textbook from sophomore year. Oh, now is a fantastic time uh, to join Jellyfish. Uh, I think one of the big things is, you know, we raised the Series C, we've got a lot of money. Um, and so we're really moving forward in terms of like, let's do so many things. Because in a startup, it's always that matter of like, okay, we only have so much bandwidth, how much can we get? We're, we're, we're really opening up the floodgates and there's so many cool projects getting spun up right now. Um, I unfortunately can't talk about a lot of them, but you should definitely interview uh, and come work on them or perhaps even, you know, start your own here. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think right now is, is fantastic because we're really moving away from the early stage startup of like, oh no, we, we need to get this customer who dies. Like, no, actually we're doing great. We just need to like keep going. Uh, and there's, there's so much cool things uh, to do. And it's such a great team to work with.